in Penn State season opening win over Central Florida. The Nittany Lions went five for five in scoring in the red zone. Ashley Chase explains why that number isn't a good thing. Five trips inside the red zone resulted in five scores for Penn State against Central Florida. Problem is, only one was a touchdown. Strictly comes down to you know being able to be more effective in the red zone. Whenever you're able to run the ball in the red zone, um, it's going to make you a lot more effective because your playbook decreases. You know, you, you obviously you don't have as much field to work with, so your shots and things like that uh, go away. Goal line and red zone plays a focal point of the end of Wednesday's practice. Nittany Lions working to increase point production inside the 20. Reliance on the run game, which includes the offensive line. We need to do a better job of being able to impose our will in the running game, sustaining and it's finishing. You know, when you think you've blocked long enough, block longer to the echo of the whistle, um, those types of things. Um, so, you know, we're going to work hard on them this week. We're going to continue to invest in the running game, and hopefully that will pay dividends on, on Saturday. Saturday's opponent, Akron, only allowed their opening week opponent, Howard, inside the 30-yard line once, and the defense tallied 10 tackles for loss and four sacks. Zipping up the Zips defense will be key for Penn State on Saturday. In University Park, Ashley Chase, Six Sports.